Oh, to use the broom, that'd be better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I was, I was wondering, um, reading through your text, uh, River of Blood, this is in chapter 15, called The Sacred Seed, page 98. Um, I was wondering what you meant by the term secrets in, in the case of this, uh, this passage here, where you say certain secrets or inseminations in the form of sacred knowledge act as seed thoughts, which, if inappropriately spoken about, lose their power, their sacred intention, and sacred purpose. Right. right. I'm talking about secrets. That could mean um, something of the hidden universe or something that should be cultivated in a certain way, like a seed that's put in the ground. Seed left over ground is going to perish and bear no fruit. A seed that is planted in the earth, hidden right, for its germination, is going to bear fruit. And so the wisdom teachings are seeds, seed thought. You don't always understand them at first glance, or first reading, or first hearing, but they have power because they, they are the fruits of, of let's say, practitioners, uh, let's say, practicing beings or enlightened beings, masters, let's say, yogis, whatever, who have gone the distance of working from, let's say, uh, creative sort of insemination of, let's say, spiritual impressions and forces. And they've received these. And it's not that they have to receive it in the way that you need to receive it. They receive it. It can happen intuitively. You don't need to go to China. You don't need to go to Tibet to receive what they're getting if you know how to receive it here and now. And be open to it. It's not something that originates there particularly. Because a lot of what's Tibet is India, a lot of what is India is some other place, and uh, it, it's, it's all about the all. But despite the all, we're talking about the heart. The all is all about a manifestation of the heart, because then you have all the planets, you have all the galaxy, you have all of the universes that are all coming from the core, the heart, it. See? See? The boom. The big boom which we're part of right now, it's still booming because we're still here. <laughs> the boom is on, man. <laughs> the boom is life. It's a secret, but it's a known secret. It's a secret revealed, but it's true. Oh, yeah. so, so when you say something like expand your scope or you know, be more open to, is that really just saying to, to no. be more aware of the heart? And, and well, sense. we're not talking about being open to everybody's garbage. Right, yeah. There's no openness there. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So being open to what is not obvious. So you have to be open to the spiritual. That means what you can't see. Right? Right. That's like the hearing of no hearing, the seeing, seeing of no seeing. Right? The knowing of no knowing paradox. It can't be just in form. It's formless. We've got to stick to the formless aspect of what the truth is. Because it's not a thing. But it's also not a no thing. Hugh. Yeah. 